Hey guys, this is Huwon, and this is a tutorial on how to create a MySQL server on your local machine that works with the Minecraft server. I looked all over the place, I had so many problems doing this, and I couldn't find it anywhere. I found a little bit here and there to help me out, but um, the commands and the MySQL and all that kind of stuff, they were, they were there, but they were kind of hard to find uh, to work with uh, my setup here. Uh, now what I have here is I have this is my server right here and I have a remote desktop connection to it. It's on my local network, and um, basically we'll, we'll, get, we'll go ahead and get started here. Uh, what you need is you need to download the latest or whatever Canary uh, mod you want. I have the latest Crow download, so you know that'll work. Whatever you want to do, you have to download MySQL. Now where you get MySQL, the MySQL server is you know just go to Google and type in MySQL and you just click on downloads. Uh, if you use, you can click on this Windows one right here. Um, it has like a GUI and everything, but you don't really need it. So just go to the MySQL community server right here and download it, you know, according to what Windows you have or whatever. Um, download that. That's this here. You'll run it. I don't think that it'll let me install it. Okay, yeah, it'll just make me change it. But if you just go through it, use the default settings, you know, it'll install and everything and you'll be good to go. Uh, so... After I installed it, and I have my crow right there, uh, just go to your, you know, whatever folder you'd like to create um, the Canary uh, database in, or Canary uh, mod. I have a, I created one called test right here. So, you'll open this up, copy all this over, you know, from your zip file, so that you have all the server files there. And let me see if it has the, okay, it doesn't have the property, so let's just, uh, you'll have to run it. And, it, you know, it'll give you the error that it doesn't find it. Then it'll create all the files for you. So we'll wait, we'll wait for that. And it's going to create the area. So I'll just go ahead and let it do that. It shouldn't take too long. All right. Sorry, sorry guys. It just took a second to close. Um, but I stopped the video for a second. Uh, now, the next thing you do is you actually go to your server.properties. And you find the data source. And you'll change flat file to my SQL. Save that. Close. Run your server one more time. The, what this does is it creates, after it shows you these errors, it'll create the MySQL properties and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I think it should be done. Let's see. Yep, okay. Now, so what it did was it created the MySQL dot properties and all that kind of stuff. So what you do is you go into the mysql.properties and you'll change, okay, when you install MySQL server, it's gonna ask you for the username and password. This is the default root and whatever you set is the password. So whatever you set, that's what you put here and under user and here under password, okay? And uh, th it's on our local host so we can leave this the same. Uh, this is the database you have to create if you want to use this setting, you have to create your database uh, in MySQL as Minecraft. So um, I actually have, a cre I'm creating one called test. So I'm going to copy this over, let it override it. So I have my settings in there, um, the settings I showed you to change. So, all right, so what you do next is you'll uh, go to start, uh, MySQL server command line. It's actually in all programs, MySQL, MySQL server 5.5. And open this command line up. Put in the password that you set in the MySQL whenever you set it up. Like that. And what you'll do is you have to create the database, then you have to import the data. Now, it's only three commands. So what you do is you do create database. And you'll use Minecraft, but in this case, since I already have one, I'm going to create one called test2. Because <laughs> I already have a test1. And if you, if you see one row affected, it went through. Uh, next, you'll you'll do use, you'll do Minecraft. But I'm, in this case, since I changed my database name, it's going to be test two. Make sure you put the semicolon like that. It'll say database changed. And then next, you'll do um, you have to actually import those uh, these two f files right here. I think you only need this one, but somewhere I saw you needed both of them, so I'll do both. Um, it won't hurt it. So you'll do source. And then you'll all you have to do is just click and drag them. This is from what the Canary mod created. 
drag them in here like this. You have to put a space right there between uh, source and the location, and then just press enter. And you'll see all that. It'll import it. And then uh, source, space, and then I'm using crow, so I'll put crow in there. And there it is. Now, uh, that should that should do the trick right there. Um, so I'll close this out, and we'll start the Minecraft server. Let's do the no GUI so it doesn't come up with that the GUI server no GUI. Okay, and you'll see it loads all this and it's creating the area. So if it's if you see it creating the area, that means it worked. So you'll be able to connect to it um, using the default port. Um, just like if you had a regular Minecraft server, but you'll be using MySQL instead. Now, it said, uh, I, I read that you get better performance and all that kind of stuff. I've been using it for a little while here. And um, it seems like it does get better performance. I don't get the lag that you get sometimes when you're uh, messing with the blocks, um, destroying blocks, stuff like that. Um, but, you know, um, you'll have to just try it out. And, um, you know, try it out and let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Who Won't. And... Please like and subscribe if you if this video helped you out.